Okay, so you've hit the 100 lead club. Congratulations. Now at the beginning of month two, that's where the fun begins. Because we've generated 100 leads, we now have a solid foundation moving forward. And most importantly, we can start making changes to our campaigns to get better lead quality. Right. Again, you weathered the storm in month one. Month one were the worst leads you're going to see throughout your entire journey, but I promise you it will get better. Month two, as long as you're using our system correctly, you're going to have a good feel for the type of leads that you've been receiving, right? Because you have 100 leads, that means that you have a big enough sample size where we can really start making decisions around your campaigns. So typically in month one, if you've actually been calling these leads, you're gonna experience one of two issues, and it's important for you to take note of these issues. The first issue is around contact success rate and intent. Okay, this means that you're not talking to a lot of people or the people that you speak to are not high intent, meaning they don't remember filling out a form or they seem very surprised that you call them. Okay, the solution to this is to switch your campaign type to a landing page campaign, AKA switch to long form leads. So what we'll do is we're gonna send them directly to your landing page. And what this landing page does for you is it puts your leads through a survey that extracts critical information from the lead, such as credit score, annual household income, loan amount, timeline, if they're working with a realtor or not, etc. Okay, this is much different than the short form leads you were generating in month one. Okay, once the lead fills out the form and answers all the questions, then they can enter their name, phone number, and email. Okay, this is gonna make the lead much higher intent because we're actually making these leads jump through hurdles to get to you, right? Now that's issue number one, which is again, around intent and contact success rate. Now issue number two is a bit more tricky, right? Guys, we want high incomes, high loan amounts, great credit scores, but the fact of the matter is that nobody in the United States of America is allowed to target by any of those things due to the Fair Housing Act. Okay, targeting by those things is not an option on any platform. Now, there are some workarounds that we're gonna talk about. Okay, the first thing that I would do if I wanted higher quality leads is I would target affluent neighborhoods. Okay, think of the richest neighborhoods in the state and target those, okay? You can target multiple cities at the same time, which I highly recommend because you generally want to keep your audience size large to get your ad in front of as many people as possible. So if there's five cities, you wanna make sure that they cumulatively have a population size of at least 400,000 among all five cities. Okay, that should help you make improvements on things like income and loan amounts. Okay, another option would be to change your ad. Okay, take a look at the ads in our ad library. Some of them imply having better credit scores. Some of them imply that you need a more steady income. A lot of the occupational campaigns do have advantages because we know that these people are employed. However, sometimes they get mistaken for down payment assistance, so be aware of that, right? So again, there's two things that you could do. One, you could switch to long form leads, and two, you, you can switch from statewide to targeting affluent neighborhoods. Now, I recommend making only one of those changes at a time because when we're marketing we have to know where the goodness is coming from if we change to to citywide and and do long form at the same time well then we're not going to know where the good leads are coming from was it because of this change or was it because of this change right so typically you're going to want to do one thing first switch to long form leads first keep it statewide you're going to start getting higher intent leads because again remember these leads are filling out a survey they have to jump through hurdles to get to you right and then after a couple weeks you can make that change and go to citywide this way you can kind of see where the results are coming from. But those are my recommendations, right? Congratulations for hitting the 100 lead club. Remember guys, this is a 90 day roadmap. Check back in with us in month three because there are extra steps that you have to even do when you get to month three, um, which is really going to create a snowball effect for your business.